Nothing is more frustrating when you're working on a collaborative project, or maybe you've saved some changes you didn't mean to. So you don't have to go back and redo your whole paper in the new Microsoft Word. So here I'm going to take a paper that I previously written, and I'm going to give it a new title. Let's add some style here, and I'll change my formatting. Now that I have a title, I'm going to make some adjustments to my paper, fixing some mistakes that Microsoft Word is kind enough to point out for me. Now I've updated my paper, and maybe I want to add some color, change some things around, or maybe the partner that I'm collaborating with had changed some things previously and then saved it automatically. So how can I go back now that I've already saved my paper? Well, the first thing that I want to make sure is that I'm actually saving my paper. So make sure that you give your paper a title. That way you can easily find it. In the same place where you click on the title to change the name of your paper, at the bottom there's a version history. As your paper is updated and saved automatically, Microsoft Word will save previous versions of your paper. Here it will show you those previously saved versions, and it may not have everything, but it's a great jumping off point. So now I can check one of my previously changed papers and you can see that all the changes have been highlighted here and I have an option to either restore or save a copy of a previous paper if maybe I want to reference it later. I'm going to restore this paper. Now you can see that this paper from a few days ago has been restored to its original format. My title is gone and my changes have come back. It's important to know that when you restore a paper, you can't bring it back to the paper you were just working on. You've essentially told it to erase the paper that was there and replace it with an old version. And now I'm free to make this paper however I want.